Hello everyone, it is Sunday. Yay! Quite actually a lovely day out. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to be using a new stamp that I got. I'm going to be making a couple of birthday cards, but I'm going to be doing it with a different. So basically I'm going to be using one stamp and having two versions of a birthday card. So I have this handy here and of course as I go along I will uh, let you know what I'm doing. So first to begin with, um, if you do enjoy this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and of course uh, I always appreciate it for um, whoever subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support for those of you who are still subscribed and of course without you I would not even want to show up every Sunday to do those videos. So I do thank you and appreciate you for that. And as anything else, we always have to be a team. I cannot grow or go anywhere if I'm on my own. So just um, be mindful of that. The first thing I'm going to do is the first version of it that I'm going to be trying out. I'm going to be using and doing like a half-half. Um, on this piece. These are two actually strips of cardstock that I had and I'm going to be doing the first option. Let me go ahead and get everything set up for that. I'm placing this here, kind of in the middle. Then I'm going to place, let me see, I hope I have it the right way. I cannot honestly see, but anyway, let's hope I have it correct. I'm going to place it like this. However, there's something I'm going to go do that's a little different. I do not want one side to have color, so I'm going to place, let me see if this is big enough. Yes, I'm going to place this piece of napkin under here. For the reason being, I, I want to have like, two shades. I don't know if that makes sense, but let's see how that goes. It's something I'm doing again for the first time. I always like doing that because I think it comes out even better when I do it for the first time. So I have this all set up here. I'm going to be inking the whole thing and I'm going to get that stamped on. So you will see exactly what it is. I do have my, this is my little tool that I like. It helps to give some even pressure. So I'm going to just get this on. Get it nicely inked. This is the Stays On Blazing Red. Um, oopsie! I have not actually used it as such. So this would be the first time I'm really using it. I'm just going to have everything inked. And of course, just be careful you don't have ink all over you and everything else like I just did. Because I'm using white, so that's not going to help if it's all over the place. Okay, so the, I have inked the first layer that I would like. And I'm going to just go ahead and apply that pressure on so I can get it onto this here. Okay, let's see how it came out. Okay, I'm going to need a little more because part of it didn't come out. I think it is the other side. So I may have to move this. It looks like the magnet kind of keeps it from you know, getting the pressure. I'm just going to ink a little bit again. Hopefully it will work this time. I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, it didn't come out as I would like it to, but at least it's we, we're getting there. So as you can see, I have one side. Now on this side, I want, I don't want to have the same color. So I'm going to place this right here. Okay, just hang in there with me, guys. Just going to stick this down a little bit so it doesn't actually move. 
but let's have this now i'm going to act i'm going to use black i believe i'll use black for the other side and i'm going to be using memento tuxedo black i'm going to pretty much do the whole thing in black it might have a little off color because i haven't wiped off the initial color but that's fine And I'm going to place it on here. Oops, you know what guys? I have done all this and I did not bear in mind that it will not go down with the, because this would be too big. So I'm gonna do this here again. Yes, that's gonna work now, I'm sure. Okay, perfect. So let's do it again. Sorry about that little glitch but let's go ahead and get it down and let's go ahead and smooth this over i'm going to add a little more black because it looks like my part of my um, plant or whatever it is didn't come out properly and this is just a little way to do something different with your stamp let's hope it comes out this time because i really do want it to come out let me just see um See, maybe if I can move this a little further up, that might help. Take another piece of this tape and just so that I can get this to stay towards the end. But that'll give you definitely an idea of what I'm trying to achieve. I need to get a little bit more black towards the top. Okay. All right, so it's better. We can always take a um, a black fine tip pen or something or marker to just go over. All right. So as you can see, I have the two. It's, it's still connected, but at least it's the whole thing. Now, I'm going to just set this aside and I'm going to show you what I will be doing at this point. But this will remain right here. I'm going to cut this down. Let's see. Let me get my now, I do, have, I do have the two pieces. Now, this is what I will be doing. I have some tape, just um, some tape at the back. I'm just going to remove this. And I do apologize if there was a break in the video. Not intentional. Hopefully my fingers doesn't have any stuff. I'm going to take my first 110 pound cardstock. I'm going to place the first one up here and I'm going to do the second one at the bottom. It still lines up, but at the same time, you know, what I'm trying to achieve, you shall see. Just going to get a pair of scissors and get the edge of this here. If I need to trim off the edges, I'll trim off the edges, but that's fine. But this is going to be just a very simple card. Using this to press on so my fingers don't smudge it. And let's see, that's the other part of it. So we're going to get it down to the bottom. Now again, if it did not, you know, um, print properly, like example, I have you know just a fine tip pen you can just pass over if you wish let me do this other side and of course i have to make sure it is matching as far as the pattern because that's important too you don't want to 
to go through all of that and the patterns are not this so like i said with the pen and i'm just going to show you you could just add in the extra parts that didn't you know quite come out good you know just pass it over but we always prefer that it comes out good from the beginning and again this is a new a new stamp so unfortunately it did not quite work as i had planned it but i'm just passing the little uh fine tip pen here so we can kind of close up the gap on some places okay i will touch up later but now if you notice the two are matching this is the top part and this is the bottom part so if you had to put them together then you'd have the rest of this coming here and the tip of this would be here so in other words you're making sure they're lining up and in the middle we're going to put our happy birthday now as far as my white cards i like to put a piece of tissue between them just in case so i'm going to put this in here and i'll use the magnet on one end and on the other end then do wishing you a happy birthday in the middle and you can do this with any stamp okay guys it doesn't have to be a floral stamp it could be any stamp that you wish to you know separate or put something in between that is fine okay so this is the first card very simple okay and very nice using one stamp now in the, for this one i'm going to be utilizing the whole stamp okay but i want to go ahead and place it down the middle so if this one is in the middle we're going to keep it there for reasons that since i already placed it down some of the ink kind of got in the middle so i'm going to leave it right there and i am going to go ahead and just pick this up Make sure it's inked as much as possible so even if you still have to come over it but at least let's get the first strike okay so it looks like the stamp itself may have an issue because it's not coloring in and that's okay i will use my other curler here to get it to fit to fix it kind of a little bit like i mentioned before and this is just, um, you know, ways you can kind of fix up plants when they, these things, when they misbehave. But at least the whole idea of the, you know, the stamping, that's what I wanted you guys to get. And that's a little, you know, technique you can do. But again, you know, you can only do so much. So, you know, with this one, it kind of, you know, got doubled in a little bit, but that's okay. It can always be fixed, maybe by coloring it in, you know, to kind of camouflage the, the extra lines that may have come out. And now we're going to put in the happy birthday. And even here, we can just kind of do something here too but that's okay if i can find where i put the happy birthday that is going to be definitely good okay so i can put happy birthday right in the middle here with this one i will just use my regular um stamping tool i think this should be good yes set this aside And then I'm going to get my happy birthday on here. Okay. And here you have two simple cards, one stamp. 
okay so i hope this is a little technique that you can use in your card making and these are just for simple cards if you don't want to add layers and all of that that's maybe a way you can do it um, use the same stamp and make you know different variations of the same stamp it's entirely up to you so thank you for watching and i hope to see you guys next sunday stay blessed and safe for the coming week and see you again bye